So good evening to all my friends, including Braden and Eleanor and Parker Jane. Allie, this is for you. And uh, Audrey and Cora and Kaya and Bennett and Kyan and Mason and Daisy and Henry, Parker Jane, Hudson, Ramona, Morgan. I told you yesterday, tomorrow is May the 1st. And May has some wonderful holidays. Now, one of my favorite holidays is Mother's Day. And I want you to be ready for Mother's Day because it's coming up in just about 10 days. You don't have to go out and buy your mother a present, but you could do something nice for her. And in order to give you some ideas, I thought I'd share this book with you, The Berenstein Bears, We Love Our Mom. It was springtime in bear country, and everything was fresh and fragrant. The trees were budding in bright springtime green. The lilacs were in full bloom. Early butterflies flitted from tulip to daffodil, and all the mothers of bear country were busy taking care of their little ones. Mama Robin was feeding worms to her chirping little fledglings. Mama Rabbit was teaching her baby bunnies how to hop. Mama Frog was taking a jar full of tadpoles out for a stroll. And in the bear family's treehouse, Mama Bear was taking care of her cubs. It was breakfast time, and Mama was cooking pancakes for her family. Mama's pancakes not only tasted good, they looked good, too. She made them into little bear faces for brother, sister, and honey. They always like to eat the ears off first. Aren't those cute? Thank you, Mama, they sang, pouring lots of honey on their steaming hot pancakes. Mama Bear took care of her cubs in plenty of other ways, too. She washed their clothes. She sewed their buttons back on their clothes when they popped off. She bandaged, bandaged their boo-boos when they skinned their knees or stubbed their toes. She gave them baths, read them stories, and tucked them in at night. She gave them hugs when they woke up with bad dreams. All day, every day, Mama Bear was there for her cubs. Well, I'm off to Grizzly Grand's, said Papa, finishing up his breakfast. A rocker on her favorite rocking chair came loose, and I fixed it for her. Can we come? asked sister and brother. Of course, said Papa. Grizzly Grand and Gramps will be very glad to see you. Papa loaded the rocking chair, and they all set off. Look at all the springtime babies and their moms, said sister. Spring is a time for new babies, said Papa and for their mothers, too. And don't you forget, Mother's Day is coming up. Brother and sister had forgotten about Mother's Day. They needed to figure out what they were doing for their mama on her special day. Howdy, grand cubs, said Grizzly Gramps when they arrived. Always great to see you. Grand tried out her rocking chair. Why, it's as good as new, she said. Thank you, son. You're so good to me. Gee, Ma, said Papa. It was just a loose rocker. Well, little things like that mean a lot to us moms. Graham smiled and gave Papa a kiss. Now, cubs, come look at what I'm working on. She had a big scrapbook out on the table. Oh, look at that. This is my mama's book, she explained. It holds so many good memories. She pointed to a picture of a pretty young bear holding a baby, like this. Who's that, asked brother. That's me, Ma Gran. You look so young, said sister. I was young, Gran laughed. That's your father when he was born. Our father, they said. You mean Papa? Of course, said Gran. But he's so little, they both said. Yes, agreed Gran. He has grown. <laughs> and 
There's their papa. He was so tiny. Well, Ma, said Papa, we've got to go. But we'll see you next week on Mother's Day. We're all going out to brunch at the old Grizzly Inn. On the way home, brother and sister thought about their day. That scrapbook and Papa doing such nice things meant so much to Gran. We need to do something special for Mama on Mother's Day, said Sister. How about making a Mama's book like Gran, suggested Papa. Well, you could put together a scrapbook all about being a mother. Yes, said Brother. We can use family photos from the old box in the closet. A mama's book for our own mama bear, said Sister, nodding. When they got home, Brother and Sister sneaked the box of photos out of the closet, took it to their room, and got to work. They spread the pictures on the floor and went through them. They used one of their school notebooks for a scrapbook. They picked and chose, cut and pasted, lettered and colored, and by supper time, they were done. They hid the finished scrapbook away in a drawer. They couldn't wait for Mother's Day to arrive. A week later, brother, sister, papa, and honey ran into Mama and Papa's room first thing in the morning. Happy Mother's Day, they called. Here's your present, Mama. For me, said Mama sleepily. How nice. And she unwrapped her present. Why, it's a Mama's book, just like Gran, she said. How wonderful. I've always wanted one like it. Thank you, my dears. And she gave all of them a big hug and a kiss. Then she opened the book to the first page. It had pictures of Mama with her three babies, brother, sister, and honey. You were so cute, brother, said Mama, so round and plump. We called you Chubby Cubby, sister laughed. But you, sister, said Mama, you cried all the time. We called you Cranky Paws. It was brother's turn to laugh. Then Honey came along, said Mama. She was so sweet, we just called her Honey. Honey pointed to her picture. Baby, she said. The rest of the scrapbook was full of all kinds of pictures of the family. There was Brother learning to ride a bike, Sister on her first day of school, and Honey waving. There were birthdays, picnics, vacations, school plays, soccer games, and Thanksgiving dinners. They were all the things that Mama would want to remember about her cubs growing up. There was a tear in Mama's eye when she came to the end. Thank you, my dear, she said, hugging them all. This is the most wonderful Mother's Day gift I have ever gotten. Happy Mother's Day, Mama, brother and sister said. Happy, said honey. And now, said Papa, it's time for us all to get ready to take Mama and Gran out for their Mother's Day brunch. And that is exactly what they did. So see, you could make some kind of a nice picture book for your mother for her Mother's Day present. Or you could just draw some pictures of some of the favorite things your mother does for you. You better get busy because you only have a week. And you have a good rest of this week and a wonderful weekend. I'll see you tomorrow.